So this is my studio, and uh, it's on the third floor of the old Gibson mansion. And uh, at one time, a group of uh, sorority sisters slept up here. And uh, during uh, the, uh, the life of the house, I don't know if this area has been used as a studio before, but that's what I decided to use it as. Um, we got back from Venice, Italy, and the Venice Biennale recently. And uh, I was very inspired to work on some new pieces that had to do with uh, uh, just larger issues, like existence and life, and uh, rather than maybe just uh, the landscape, which I love dearly, and uh, continue to work on, on pieces like that. Um, I love to collect books. And, uh, you know, the books are just a constant uh, uh, joy to me and uh, feeds my head with uh, not only imagery, but what other people are doing, what's been done in the past, and what it's possible to do looking forward. Here is uh, how I met my wife, Mary. I painted a picture of her Sheltie, and I had just returned from England visiting some of the Paleolithic sites there, including Stonehenge and Avebury and uh, others. Um, so that's uh, one reason that, uh, that Stonehenge is in there. And also, the name of her dog was Braveheart. And uh, that could be one reason we have two Shelties now. Um, I love dogs. This is a self-portrait with my dog, Stella. It's no longer with us, but I call that learning to sit. And she's a good teacher. <laughs> and then, continuing to work on these pieces that are uh, have to do with life and, and death and religion and uh, humor and um, how we define ourselves as, as human beings on, on this planet and in the universe. Uh, yeah. So Adam and Eve fleeing from the gar garden. And these are collages. So this is a, a painting by an Italian artist, Masaccio, that has uh, the, the grieving uh, Adam and Eve fleeing the garden now that they've been granted intelligence. Um, so larger work on the on the easel here. My my Hughes easel, which is great, moves around, so I'm able to uh, work on different positions. And then, oh, another neat thing is uh, my my uh, swiveling art stands here. So as I'm working on studies and paintings, uh, I can. Uh, place them there, and uh, maybe this one needs some work, so I work on that, and then I put it back and go, okay, now I, I, my paint is out, I'm going to work on that one or this one, and uh, I have several of those. Um, there are a few, uh, usually before I do a larger scale painting, I do a small, smaller work that would scale up to, for instance, this would be nine by 10 inches, and as it went up uh, to scale, it would be 36 by 40 inches. Um, these are both landscapes from the Beartooth uh, area. This one's painted on aluminum, so it has a, a bit of the reflective quality and luminescence of the aluminum coming through the layers of paint. Then there's the, the tools of the trade, which are my paints. I have them kind of segregated here as to different color families, you know. More brushes, in case I didn't have enough brushes already, there's more. And then the new book that just came out, which is the last 22 years of, of work, uh, mostly paintings, 